Hello everyone and today I'm going to demonstrate do command. What is the function of do command? And this is perhaps something I use a lot. If you haven't watched my previous videos on Microsoft Access, please watch and you would see that I have used do command in almost behind every single form or button. Uh, that's how handy it is. Um, for example, you want to open something uh, you want to open a table or query or form or report uh, that's where do command will help you you want to close the table close the query close the form close the report that's where do command will help you you want to print something that's where do command will help you you want to browse to uh, somewhere uh, within the access application that's where do command will help you there are lots of functions of do commands with do commands that you can create some events and I'm of course I'm not going to show you all of them but uh, for sure some of the functions or events I'm going to demonstrate in this video so let's jump right into VBA um, and uh, let's get started with some of the functions so I've got a small form and I've got a button called click me and let's go to the event tab of the property sheet of button and we are going to use on click event so i'll click on ellipsis and from the pop-up window <coughs> excuse me i will click on i will choose the code builder and click ok and now we are in vp editor right so the first thing i want to show you if i will just type in do cmd dot the moment i type in dot um, you can see there is a huge list of things that I can do with do command simply absolutely fantastic do command and as I said this is very useful and you will see yourself using this a lot when you are working on Microsoft Access all right so of course as I said I'm not going to demonstrate each one of the each each, each one uh, one of these functions or actions but of course some of those I'm going to demonstrate so for example the uh, do cmd dot beep so there is the action you can create beep and it's very useful for especially for the users for example you have created a form so i'm i'm going to demonstrate to you now for example you have created a form and you have a button and you want users to click on that button in order to save the data let's say or delete the information or edit the information whatsoever and you can assist user by creating this beep sound uh, so through which the user will understand ah something has happened in uh, the application so if i'll go to the form view and if i'll click here on click me button i don't know whether you are able to hear the sound or not yeah and this beep sound also changes uh, with respective to the type of action uh, especially when you are presenting the um, the message box so if the message box is for okay yes then the beep sound will be different if the message box is for error then the beep sound will be different but beep sound creating beep sound is very good and very important from the user experience point of view so uh, this is where do command always comes in handy now let's say another action I want to create so if do cmd dot and let's say browse to so I'm going to use browse to so the moment I selected browse to and I will hit the space bar on my keyboard it will uh, ask me what you want to browse to are you going to browse to form or report so that's the limitation of browse to function so I will say I'm I want to go to the form and comma now it is asking which form you want to go so if i'll go to the microsoft access application uh, let's say i want to go to the first code form all right so i will type in here the first code the form name okay and that's it yeah, this is the um, mandatory requirement for browse to function uh, rest everything else is the optional if you want to use you can use otherwise you can leave it so let's uh, close this out and let's go to the form view and the moment I click on click me uh, watch what happens 
so what happened that the form that we were working on is closed automatically and the new form is open right so somewhere sometimes you have to build this kind of functionality that user will exit the form they were working on data will be saved and then you are bringing the user to another screen so that's where browse to function will uh, come in handy and along with the do command so if i'll go back again if i'll click on click me see that form is closed and the form that we were referring to is open similarly it will happen with the reports as well so very nice functionality that you can create with that let's move on to the next one so what is next we have 2cmd dot uh, let's say close yeah close uh, close also is very important uh, function that you can create and you can provide to your users and uh, of course let's say you're working on a form and um, and that form has to be closed sometime you have to automate uh, that form so for example if you are referring to other form and you want to close that form from one particular form you can use this do command functionality as well so um, notice what happens so if I'll, I'll just demonstrate so if i'll click here click me this form will be closed now why this form is closed the reason the this form is closed is because i haven't given any name of any other form that's why the existing form the active form will be closed so at the moment the active form uh, active window you can say is this form one so if i'm not giving any reference to any other form uh, then uh, this will be uh, closed the active form will be closed but for sure uh, it is used to close the form the report the table whatever object you want to choose so if i will if i'll hit the space bar you will know you can close a uh, diagram form function macro module report uh, table a whole lot of things that you can close with the do cmd dot close function all right after close what do we have let's see what else we can demonstrate close database copy object delete object echo find next find record these are also handy if for example you have the continuous type of form then uh, the find record find next these will become in handy but normally they are not used much go to record also comes in handy uh, normally it's not used much as well um, minimize maximize right minimize maximize is similarly like these buttons right so you want to maximize or you want to minimize you can do that let's talk about the open form right so this is also mostly used so what is the difference in browse form and open form browse form as uh, uh, browse function as you have seen is uh, uh, restricted to only two uh, type of objects one is form and another one is report but the open open function is for everything is for different so you can open query you can open form you can open report you can open uh, table whatsoever if you wish to do so so do cmd dot open form and in here it is asking provide the name of the form so we'll give the name of the form uh, same name first code that's the our form okay and rest is optional if you want to provide uh, the detail you can provide further detail uh, where condition etc etc but if you don't want to provide these are optional so it will the form will still open so right so if i'll go to the form view and we'll click on click me there you go this form is open now if you notice at this time when this form is open the actual form is not closed and uh, this is where the browse to uh, function differs with the open form function all right in open form you can keep the both form open in case if you want to keep them open 
and there will be some scenarios in fact a lot of scenarios where you want to keep the original form open and you want to open the other forms corresponding forms so this is where it helps right um you can also let's go back to here now to cmd dot what else we can we can go to the open form open function open module open query let's open a query right so we only have one query i believe employees queue so i'll hit a space button and i'll type here employees queue all right so i'll click here and there you go the employees queue that's the query name and it will open automatically that's how the uh, open query and similarly you can uh, perform the same for the uh, table as well or report output to now output to is another one it's, it's a great example so do cmd dot output to and here it is asking what do you want to output right you want to output a form or query or report what exactly you are looking for so i'll say i want to output a report and comma it will ask what report you want to output and i can give the reference of this report all right copy and we'll give a report name here so there are a lot of optional uh, parameters that you can provide for example you can give a specific format uh, for example pdf uh, if i'll say ac uh, format pdf then the export of the report will be in pdf format but there is another thing you can do for example if you don't give any parameter if you don't give any output format or where it will be stored you'll just give the do cmd dot output to and then the uh, the name of the report or table of form then what will happen uh, you will see I will, i'm going to demonstrate now if i'll click here on click me then it will ask you which format you want to use to open this report or output this report so you can choose any format you can choose to transfer this information in excel format or pdf format or any other other formats as well the moment you choose any format and then click ok the, it will ask you where do you want to store this file so basically you are giving option to your user to choose any type of format which they think they're suitable for that particular working environment so that's how you output the report to your uh, local computers anyway one more uh, i would like to demonstrate and that is print out right so and for that we have to use ac cmd do cmd dot run command sorry run command and if i'll hit space button and here we will say uh, maybe in another video we will talk about this let me in the let me know in the comments below if you want to learn about the run command as well so here i will choose accmd uh, print okay uh, i want to print whatever uh, the active form or report will be i want to print that out uh, so for example if i'll click here then it will ask me which printer you want to choose and then you click ok similarly this can be used for the report as well okay so if i'll go to design view uh, let's say i have already created this report so i'll click on print let's see what is the code behind it and you will see that this similar code to cmd dot run command accmd print this similar line of code is used for this particular report and the benefit is that you can print this report and you can 
save it as pdf or you you want to print out you can print it out all right uh, this also is used to send an email so for example this button uh, send if i'll go back uh, back side of this button do cmd is used here as well do cmd dot run command run command is another very useful command uh, which which is frequently used to perform actions so you can see here i have two uh, buttons and behind those both buttons i have do cmd that's how important it is and that's how frequently is used uh, this command is so do cmd a lot of functions that you can perform uh, and that is it i hope you have learned something from this video uh, please do let me know in the comments below what exactly what else exactly you want to learn um, do let me know and uh, i will try to make video on that particular topic as well um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one